Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever it is and whatever time it is where you are. This is the scene section of the Tulsa world. My name is Jim Watts, here with my colleague, Jimmy Trammell, to talk to you about some of the things that you will be able to find in uh, um, this upcoming, upcoming editions of the Tulsa world, sold at fine new shops and convenience stores everywhere, or online at tulsaworld.com. Um, we'll start by, uh, Heading out into, out into the Old West with uh, someone very familiar to Tulsa. Yep. When is the last time James Watts saw a new Western at a, on a movie theater? It would, have, it would have been Unforgiven. Okay, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a long time. time. I, I, I went to the opening night to review it, and it was a, it was a different experience, I'll tell you that. People who love Westerns will be glad to know the Western is not dead. And in fact, we get a new Western on Friday uh, starring Tulsa's own Tim Blake Nelson of Holland Hall. Uh, Tim Blake Nelson is a star in Old Henry. And it's not a, uh, it's a legitimate, as he called it, meat and potatoes Western. If you love Westerns, uh, you'll love this. He plays a widowed farmer who kind of has a secret and you won't know that secret until, uh, you know, push comes to shove at the very end of the movie. Uh, and, and James Watts, I'm sure you'll be uh, flattered as I was, honored as he was that uh, on my phone call with Tim Blake Nelson, he just said glowing, wonderful things about Michael Smith, our mm -hmm. colleague, Tulsa Royal colleague who passed away this year and just, said fantastic things and wanted me to share those with his family. Well, that's, yeah, my, 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 Michael deserves all the, all the praise and, and that, 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 that anyone could give him. He did a marvelous job. He was a great friend and, 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 and a great person. And he's, 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 and I know that he's missed by the film community here in, in Oklahoma. Uh, so, but yeah, that's, that, that's good. That, that's, that's good to hear. So. I do, I do recommend the movie though. It's, it's, uh, right. it, it kind of sticks with you. It builds up to something. And after it ended, I found myself liking it even more than I did during the film, which I don't know whatever phenomenon that is. It, that's what got me. Uh, what, what's it, what is it rated? You know, I'm not sure. Okay. I didn't rating there. There is a scene where like, like a grizzly scene where they're digging a bullet out, a bullet out of someone. So there's a little bit of gore. I can't imagine it's R. It's got to be. I shouldn't even speculate, but I didn't check okay. to see what the rating was. Uh, that's okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry to have sprung that's that okay. on you. Okay. Well, um, the Theater Tulsa is is opening its third show of, of this season, and it is something of a landmark for them. It is the musical Dream Girls uh, with a. Uh, which is the musical that was inspired in part by the career of the Supremes. Um, and while it doesn't um, completely follow the history of, of, of that group, there's a, there's a whole lot of similarities <laughs> in, in it. Um, it was when it uh, premiered on Broadway, it was the show that made a um, star out of Jennifer Holliday. Um, and uh, she uh, uh, was recently seen on um, the Tony Awards doing the, the landmark song, which is, and I'm telling you, I'm not going. So this is, uh, Theater Tulsa is doing its own version. Uh, it has a all, pretty much an all African-American cast. And, um, it's it should it it, it, it I, the, the 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 talents of the three women that we talk with uh, are uh, they can handle this stuff and so it it should be it should be quite a quite a show and that opens October eighth at uh, Tulsa uh, PAC for for two weekends so that's something definitely to check out the. Um, but the biggest thing this coming weekend 
is the opening of the Tulsa State Fair. And uh, you and I are uh, tasked with, well, we keep trying to put in for hazard pay, but um, <laughs> we, uh, we will be prowling the midway on the opening day looking for the, the new foods on, 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 at the fair. Um, some, of the, some of them are fairly conventional. Uh, like ice cream sandwiches. Uh, others are not. Um, what's, the, what's one that you're looking forward to? You know, pickle pizza actually appeals to me. Okay. We're not quite sure what that's going to be. Yeah. Pickle was the big thing about two years ago. I remember pickle ice cream hmm. we tried. Um, somebody took a gigantic pickle hollowed it out put a hot dog in it and then battered the whole thing and fried it and i mean it was like everything seemed to be dill so uh be interesting to see what that is um there's also um was it chicken bacon and cheese curd tacos is one um and then there's also a uh new company they're they're working on establishing their own restaurant it's called native it's spelled n-a-t n-a-t-v mm -hmm. and um, they will be offering some dishes that are uh inspired by or based on uh indigenous recipes so there'll be it'll, it'll be a variety and that'll be coming up uh this weekend and uh I've, I've if we survive if we survive I have laid in a, a stock of Alka-Seltzer just okay. to be on, on, on the safe side. So uh, look for that. Uh, what else have you got coming up this week, Jimmy? Well, we may or may not have a celebrity interview. I don't want to promise something I can't deliver. But I can uh, deliver. I can promise that we will renew readers, uh, reintroduce readers to the Bradshaw Bunch. It's the reality show filmed in Thackerville, where Terry Brown uh, lives with his wife. And they get visits from their three daughters, Aaron, Rachel, and uh, Lacey, who, by the way, uh, once lived in Tulsa. But I spoke with the three daughters today, and we'll talk about what people can expect in season two of the Brad Bradshaw Bunch. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of, of, of food, as we did earlier, we uh, have a review of uh, – uh, it's a kind of a new place called Radish. Um, they were one of the first concepts in Mother Road Market um, about two years ago when that, when that opened, but they've now moved to a, uh, a standalone place on uh, about 17th and, and Boston. If you like um, Mediterranean style cuisine, uh, that's what they do, although they they say they give it an oaky twist and they call it Midwestern Iranian. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's good stuff. Um, um, well prepared and definitely worth checking out. And in the days to come, we will let you know if uh, Taqueria King Burrito lives up to its name. Uh, there's one on 71st between Memorial and Mingo, and a second one is due to open at 21st and Sheridan. So it's oh. a it's an Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas-based uh, company that is apparently rather aggressively trying to franchise into other regions, and Tulsa's got the first two, I think, in, in Oklahoma. So well, let me see. I think I have we have we covered as much of the waterfront as, as we can cover this time. I got one more shout out for the retro and throwback old school people. Any other adjectives you can think of, descriptions for the uh, old school stuff. But the uh, OFCON is in Norman this weekend. And OFCON is what Comic Cons used to be before they were pop culture cons, uh, in that celebrities are not the stars of the show, the books are the stars of the show. So people come from uh, surrounding states. Uh, in Oklahoma, it's a collector's mecca. So OFCON, our former colleague, John Woolley, will be, uh, I guess, uh, there, as he always is, because he was involved in creating 
uh, the fandom group that started the convention. But it's Saturday and Sunday, Embassy Suites in Norman. And if you just like the books, the comics, and don't care so much for meeting Joe Celebrity and paying $50 for his autograph, this is the place for you. Well, I remember the first uh, science fiction convention that I, that I attended. This was back in the mid-70s. I was, I was a mere slip of a lad, but it was held at the Mayo Hotel. And what I remember most strongly was they had a they had they were showing a clip of Star Wars, which had not been released yet. Hmm. And it was just the few seconds of uh, the Millennium Falcon's first jump to hyperspace. It's all they had. And it was being shown on a, a tape loop in one of the guest rooms on the on the TV. They'd hooked up at like a, a DVD or a, a, a VHS player mm -hmm. to a hotel room TV. And so you could only get like, you know, 10, 15 people in there at a time. But conversely, the grand ballroom on the top floor, which is gigantic. I know that you, you've been there for functions. Mm -hmm. That was the book room. And it was wall to wall with uh, comic book sellers, used book sellers. And I mean, it was like, you know, for you know, if you were into books, it was sort of like Whoa! kind of thing. Sure. And, uh, in fact, I still have some of the things I, that I bought there uh, that I paid way too much for, but um, it was it was all part of the thing. So, all right. Well, I'm, I'm glad there's still one of them out there that still is 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 not uh, entirely besotted to the visual image, as important as that may be. Sure. All right. Well, um, thank you all for watching. We uh, appreciate uh, you spending some of the time, if you've made it this far, uh, with us. And uh, for my colleague, uh, Jimmy Trammell and I, we will gladly see you later. Behave. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.